Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at the internal components of a CPU and how they work together with a program stored in RAM and how they execute those instructions. Inside the CPU there are three main components and they are the control unit and inside the control unit you find a component called the decoder which is responsible for working out what each program instruction actually means and what the CPU needs to do to execute that instruction. The next main type of component inside the CPU is something called the registers and registers are special pieces of memory that are usually of a fixed size and they're used to hold one instruction or piece of data or a specific piece of information in each register. So those registers that we need to know about are the program counter, the memory address register, the memory data register, the current instruction register and one of the most important registers, the accumulator. Finally, inside the CPU there's some extremely important circuitry called the ALU, the Arithmetic and Logic Unit, and this is responsible for actually carrying out the instructions we're executing. So how does the CPU actually carry out an instruction? The CPU goes round in circles called a cycle, and this means that it does the same thing over and over again billions of times per second. The thing that coordinates these cycles is called the control unit, and the control unit is responsible for controlling everything that happens inside the CPU, down to which registers are being used, when an instruction is carried out, and where and how. It also sends signals to other components such as RAM to tell it whether it's reading or writing instructions. The first thing that happens is the control unit sends a signal to something called the program counter, and this causes it to increment by one. The program counter is responsible for holding the address in memory of the next instruction to be executed. So if we say at the start that the program counter was equal to 0001, which is the first location in memory, then when the control unit sends a signal to the program counter, that value will change to the next value in memory, number 2, so it will know to get the next instruction from this location to execute. Once the program counter has incremented, the address that is held in the program counter is copied to the memory address register. And this is the register that's responsible for holding the address in RAM that we are just about to read or that we're going to write some data in at a later date. The memory address register sends its contents down something called the address bus to the memory controller which controls fetching and storing data in RAM. The control unit will then send a signal to RAM to tell it whether to read or write. In this case we're going to imagine that the CPU is reading data from that memory location. So the value in this example 0002 will travel down the address bus to the memory controller. When it arrives there the controller will take this value from memory location 2 and return it down something called the data bus and it will go to the memory data register. The data bus is used to send data either to or from RAM, whereas the address bus is only ever used to send addresses to RAM. The memory data register will now contain the value that we've read from RAM. In this case it would be 00011111. Now that data could be literally data or it could be an instruction that the CPU is going to carry out. Once it's in the memory data register, the contents is then sent to the current instruction register. And this is where another part of the control unit called the decoder is used to work out what that instruction means. And the instruction in the current instruction register is then split into the actual instruction itself and maybe some data. If that sounds confusing, imagine that the instruction is simply add 1. It will split it into add and the number 1 so it knows what it's doing and the data it needs to do that. The instruction in the current instruction register will then be carried out by the arithmetic and logic unit which is the part of the CPU responsible for carrying out virtually all the instructions the CPU can understand. When it's finished the final value or the result of that calculation is stored in the accumulator or other registers depending on the CPU being used. Once this process is complete, the cycle continues again another time, so the control unit will send out another clock pulse to the program counter, it will increment, and the whole process begins again. The final thing to note is there is a third bus 
that the CPU uses and that's called the control bus and as you can imagine the control bus is connecting together all these different components of the CPU so the decoder, the program counter, the arithmetic logic unit and also to external devices such as the memory controller and other input output devices. So all the signals that the control unit send out go down the control bus.